Alright guys, so now we're gonna move to the most important use case in parameters. You're gonna see this use case almost in each Tableau project. So the use case is to use parameters to switch between dimensions and to switch between measures. So now let's learn first how to use parameters to switch between dimensions in one view. So let's say that you are building a dashboard about the sales and you're gonna have views like sales by country, sales by category. So that means you are creating two views with the same metric but different dimensions. So now instead of having two views, we're gonna have only one view for the users and they're gonna decide which dimension they're gonna use in the view. And now in order to do that, we have to use the power of parameters. All right, so now let's go and create our view. We have the sales. So let's take the sales on the columns and then we need the countries. We're going to take it from the customers and then we have here the country and the rows. Great. And as usual, we're going to show the labels. So now we want to make the dimension country as a variable, as parameter. So that means we need somehow to switch between dimensions, between country and category in the same view. So that means instead of having the dimension country, we want to have like a dynamic dimension with different values. So now the first thing that we have to do is to create a parameter where the user is going to choose which dimension should be presented at the view. So here we're going to go and create a parameter from the data pane. So click over here then create parameter. So here the main focus of this parameter is to choose which dimension can be presented at the view. So first let's give it a name. We're going to call it choose dimension. And now the question is what are the values inside this parameter? It's going to be the dimension name. So it's going to be values like country and category. So they are string. So the data type over here is going to be string. Let's go and select that. And as you can see, Tableau did disable the format. We cannot choose a format for the string. It's like free text. Next, we have to define the current value. And here we're going to have the dimension country as a default. So let's go and enter the value of country. All right. So now since the data type is a string, we cannot build a range from it. So here we have only two options. Either we're going to have it as a free text as an input field. And in this scenario, it really makes sense to have a predefined list for the users since the users will not see your data source and they have no idea which dimensions do we have. So for that, if we go with the free text, it's going to be really confusing and no one going to get the right dimension for it. So in this scenario, we really must provide a predefined list for the users. And then they're going to select the value that it's going to suit them. So here in this example, we're going to offer only two dimensions. It's the country and the category. So let's go and add those values. So we're going to have the country and the next value going to be the category. And of course, you can add more dimensions like the city, the product name and so on. So now we're going to stick with the example and that's it. So let's click OK. Great. So now if you check the data pane, we have a new parameter called choose dimension. And here you can see quickly which data type do we have for each parameter. So now the next step is to show the parameter for the end users. So right click on it. Let's go and show parameter. All right. So now let's check our parameter on the right side. We have a list. It makes sense. We have created a list parameter and at the end, we're going to have a list for the users. And inside it, we have only two values. <laughs> country and category. So now if you go and switch between those two values, nothing going to change in the view because this parameter is not yet connected to our view. All right. So now we're going to go and create our dynamic dimension and use it in the view instead of the country. So that means we have to create a new field in order to do that. Right click over here and create calculated field. So let's go there. Now let's call it dynamic dimension. We're going to use here the case when. Don't worry about it. I'm going to explain everything in the section of calculations. The syntax starts with case. And then we have to specify the field name. And in this situation, we're going to enter the parameter. So our parameter called choose. And here, as you can see, as you are writing, Tableau is suggesting stuff for us. So our field called choose dimension. So next, we're going to go and specify an action for each scenario for each value. So let's have a new line and write when. The first value is going to be the country. You need to be really careful here to write it exactly as we wrote it in the parameter. So it was capitalized in the parameter and it should be as well here capitalized. Otherwise it will not work. So now what can happen if the value is country, then we have to specify the action. So if the users chose country, what can happen? The dimension country should be used. So let's go and write over here country. And as you can see, as I'm writing, Tableau is suggesting. So we need the dimension country. You can see it from the icon over here. So let's select that. All right. So now let's move to the next scenario. Is that that the user is going to go and select the value of category. So it's exactly the same stuff. We're going to write here when the value is category. Then what's going to happen? The dimension category should be used. 
So let's start tipping here category and as you can see we have suggested over here the dimension category. Let's select it. So that's it. This is the scenarios that could happen to the parameter and we have to end the case win like this. So as you can see in this calculation we are just mapping between the values of the parameters and the dimensions. So let's go and click OK. Now as you can see we have a new dimension on the left side called the dynamic dimension. It is calculated field. And now we're going to go and remove our static dimension the country. And instead of that we're going to add our new dynamic dimension. Alright, so now let's go and check whether it's going to work. As you can see, the value is now category and in the view we see the categories, which is really good. Alright, so now let's change the value of the parameter to country. As you can see, the dimension in the view did change. So now we have country instead of category. So as you can see, parameters are really powerful and you are going full dynamic on your view where the user is going to define the level of details in the view by changing the dimension. So imagine now you are making a dashboard with sales and you have 10 dimensions. Here you are going with only one view instead of having 10 reports. Alright, so that's it for this use case. This is how you switch between dimensions using parameters. Alright, so now you have the following Tableau task. The task says to create a dynamic measure using parameters to swap between three measures sales, profits, and quantity in the same view. You can pause the video right now to do the task, then resume once you are done. All right, so now let me show you how you can do that. We have exactly the same steps as the dimensions. We have first to create the parameter and second to create the logic in the calculated field. Let's start with the first one to create the parameters. We're gonna go to the data pane, click over here and create parameter. We're gonna call it choose measure. And here you have to think about the values of the parameters. So it's going to be the name of the measures, which means the data type is going to be a string. And here we have to define the default value. So here we have three values, sales, profit, and quantity. And we're going to have the default value as sales. And here again about the values, the users don't know about your data source. So they don't know the exact name of your measures. So you have to go and create a predefined list for them. So let's go over here. We have three values. So we're going to have the first one sales, the second one profit, and the third one going to be the quantity. So that's it. Let's go and hit OK. So as you can see on the left side, we have our new parameter. And the next step is to show the parameters for the end users. So in order to do that, right click on it and show parameter. So let's check our parameter over here. You can see it starts with the sales since it's our default and you can switch between those values. But as you can see, nothing is changing at the view. So the view is still showing the sales. So the next step is now to go and create the calculated field. In order to do that, we're going to go to the data pane, right click over here and then select create calculated field. We're going to call it dynamic measure. And here again, we're going to use the same syntax. So case, then the name of the parameter. So choose, we're going to select the measure. And now we're going to go and define the scenarios. So when the value is sales, then the action is going to be selecting the measure sales. So write sales and select the measure. All right, so new line. And we're going to go now and map the next value. So it's going to be the profit. Then the measure profit. So profit and let's go and select the measure. All right, so we map that. We're going to map now the last value. So we have the quantity. And if the user select this value in the parameter, the quantity measure is going to be selected as well. So let's go with that. So that's it. This is our three scenarios. We're going to have end at the end. So now, as you can see, our calculation is valid and let's go and hit OK. And now if you check the data pane, we have new calculated field called dynamic measure. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go and remove our static measure and replace it with the dynamic measure. All right. So now let's go and change the values in the parameters. So let's start with the sales. As you can see now, we have the values of sales. And if you switch it to profit, you can see the axis and the values in the view are changing to the new measure. But now let's go to the last one, to the quantity. And as you can see, we we don't have any data. Well, if you have something like this, then we have an issue either in the calculations or in the parameter. So let's find out where is the error. Let's go to the calculation again, right click on it and then go to edit. And here we have to compare the values. As you can see, we have here quantity and we have the dimension quantity. Everything is like correct. But as you can see, the value over here in the parameter is quantity. So here I have a typo and that means for Tableau, we didn't define any scenario for this value. In order to correct that, we're going to go to the parameter on the left side, right click on it, then go to edit, and then we're going to go to our list and change this value. So double click on it and write it correctly, quantity. So that's it. Let's go OK. 
And now, as you can see, we have data for the quantity. So it's really important to have exactly the same values from the parameters inside the calculation. So as you can see, it's really sensitive. So with that, we have a dynamic dimension and a dynamic measure, and we can switch between those stuff as the user wants. All right, so this is how you can use parameters to swap between measures in a view. It is just great. All right, guys, so that's all on how to swap between dimensions and between measures using parameters. Next, we will learn how to use parameters in titles and text. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.